I like filming people, but I'm really terrible at being on film. I've approached this project slightly differently. So let me tell you a little bit about what I'm going to produce first. What I'm going to produce, what I'm aiming to produce, is a beautiful book. I really love books. I love them. There's not enough books anymore. People don't pick them up anymore. But I want to produce this beautiful book, and it's going to be stories. People who have been to the brink, may have even tried to cross the line of the brink, but for whatever reason have come back, for whatever reason, are now doing well with themselves in the communities or giving back to their communities in some way and what I'm looking to explore their stories about where they were and where they are now how they got there and what have they learned and what can they teach other men or any not just men anybody but this is particularly focused on men and teach them inspire them role model them show them hope and hopefully pass on a few words of advice for suicidal people. So the idea is to go to the other end of the scale and work with people that are now, for want of a better word, well. And that's going to be produced, like I say, as a book. It's going to be a, a kind of a photo journal book. It's going to be a hardback and a softback. I'm hoping it'll be really delicious and beautiful to look at. And it's going to be interwoven with my own story because I have a lot of suicide connections in my own personal life. It's going to be a book and a film or a series of small films. I'm not sure how that'll pan out yet. Yes, yeah, so I'm pursuing to find solutions from people that have already crossed that bridge into a better place. I'm looking to pursue to find that lived experience, that knowledge, that understanding, as well as celebrating those people and celebrating what they're doing now with their lives. I think it's really important to honour those people who have been successful in achieving a sense of healthy place of life. Really important. The book and the film are going to be um, positive focus, hope focus. They will tell some of those painful stories, but the focus is on the learning and the growth and the change and the catalyst for those and the words of advice, but also their thoughts on systems and mental health services and community sectors and, and you know what they feel needs to change or could change or ideas they've got. So there's three parts really, the story, words of advice for suicidal people, and some work around ideas of systems change. And I want to catch that in a, in a story format, not in a professionalised document report system, but in a heartfelt, honest, told as a story. And my re I'm going to weave my story into that because part of this is a reflective journal as well about what I'm learning along the process, what I'm learning in comparison to my own life. And it's also, in a way, personal to me this project so what I'm gonna do is reflect honestly in this book and this film about my experiences about the people that I'm talking to and about how that's impacting on me as the storyteller in a way no matter how hard it is no matter how at the bottom of that pyramid you may think you've started or where you've fallen to it's possible to flip it all the way around and fully feel a joy of living every second of the day. Um, and that's what I hope some people will take away from this project at the end.